This video is sponsored by Shadowverse. It's free to play on mobile and PC with dope anime style artwork and full voice acting in English and Japanese. It's highly strategic and features eight distinct leader classes and a whole bunch of cards designed by some of the world's best card game players. You can get 50 free card packs just for completing the tutorial. Also, in the next couple of months, I'll be putting out some sponsored skits with them, so look forward to that. Check it out with the link in the description below. Time to try 27 different types of Oreos. Did you know there are 27 different types of Oreos? I didn't know that. That's a, a horrifying thought. I have all of them uh, in nice stacks here. Uh, so that's gonna be an interesting experience. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the serving size, a uh, normal serving size of Oreos. And it is three, <laughs> three cookies. So, <laughs> okay. You're only supposed to eat three of these. I have to eat at least 27. And that's only if I eat one per thing. This might be my caloric uh, count for uh, the week. Uh, we're gonna go through this together. This will probably be a mistake. Um, I have plenty of milk uh, ready for this. Uh, let's uh, dive in. First off, we have your classic Oreos. These are just the, the gold standard. What you compare every other Oreo to. Cla why am I? You know what an Oreo looks like. Like, I gotta show you what a fucking Oreo looks like. Okay, uh, now, two ways about this. You could go for the classic, just bite. I just went to the dentist, so this is the opposite of what I should be doing after that. Just a nice, crunchy, chocolatey cookie with that great Crisco-ass filling, which, don't get me wrong, I love. Um, and then, yeah, obviously, I'll do a little dunk as well. They really are... Perfectly made for dunking. Default, this is what an Oreo is, one. But really, regular Oreos are for chumps because you obviously gotta go with the double stuff. Double stuff is classic, classic double stuff. Look at that difference, look at that difference. Like, if you love yourself, you get double stuff. That That's more of the good shit right there. Just gotta go for the twisty on this one, I'm sorry. Just a little bit, did a little, just twist it off a little bit. Uh, let's go for a regular bite. It's the perfect amount of cream. So much cream that it just overflows in your mouth. Oh boy, that's the statement. The cream overflows in your mouth. Just coat your mouth with delicious Crisco-ass cream. I mean, regular Oreos are fine, but double stuff Oreos, this is like my gold standard. This is my, like, when I want a classic good Oreo experience, I always reached for the double stuff. But then they came out with mega stuff. That's a lot of filling. Although, compared to a reg- this is double stuff, this is mega stuff. I mean, it's not actually that much more. This is- this is a lot. This is so much filling. Speaking of cream overflowing in your mouth, this just fills your mouth with cream. Wow, so many quotes you can take from this video out of context. Boy, is it good. Kind of disgusting, but I- I'm- I have no standards for my health or, um really any standards at all and this is just f fucking it's great i mean the more cream the better you're right everyone as i always say it is very sugary and overwhelming though so like double stuff would probably be my regular gold standard these are like if i want to treat myself a little bit because these are there's a lot you can't eat a ton of these without feeling disgusting uh, like I'm gonna feel after all of this. These sound interesting, and by interesting I mean miserable. These are reduced fat Oreos. It's 30% less fat than the original Oreo. Let's see how they stack up. Look at, <laughs> look, look at how little cream there is. Like, holy shit. Yeah, no shit there's 30%, what, what is this? This is nothing. Here's a regular Oreo. Look, a nice full, like, what is the, <laughs> What is the point of this? Don't even make the cookie that big. Like, this is just empty cookie space. Wasted cookie space. This is absurd. Oh, shit, I gotta eat this one now. Fuck. This is so sad. Love yourself. Love yourself and die earlier by eating regular Oreos. Anyway, let's try this out. They're drier. They got a weird aftertaste. It's like you took a graham cracker and made it Oreo flavored. And then, let me taste this cream on its own. The cream is a lot less sweet. You can definitely tell the difference. That's Oreo graham crackers with a slight dot of not very sweet cream. I mean, I get it. If you got dietary restrictions, sure. 
it's a it's a fine substitute, but that cream distribution is honestly just a travesty. Now this, these came a little bit later. These are golden Oreos. Uh, it's a vanilla cookie. Um, I actually really like these a lot. They just look nice, and I tend to prefer vanilla over chocolate anyway. It's just a nice. They kind of taste sweeter than regular Oreos. I think I usually go for rich chocolate Oreos over golden Oreos, but every now and then when I have these, I'm like, these are, these are good. I will say that golden Oreos can be a little too samey though. Like I don't get as much joy out of eating a bunch of golden Oreos than I do with the chocolatey goodness of regular Oreos. I don't think I've had these before. Golden double stuff Oreo. Now maybe this will change my mind. Maybe this will be like open my eyes to the golden, to the golden Oreo experience. All right. It's pretty good, but it's a little bit too much. I think why regular chocolate double stuff Oreos work is because the chocolate cookie and the cream taste pretty different. So it's like you get the chocolate and you get the cream. This is a lot of cream, but then the cookies are vanilla and so they taste similar. So it, it kind of becomes, it tastes good, but it's like overwhelming a little bit. It's like a little bit too much of kind of like that sweet cream vanilla flavor. Um, with that said, I'm not gonna say no to a fucking golden double stuff Oreo but I do think regular double stuff is is superior. All right, let's get these out of the way because I don't like these. These are Oreo mini, which, why would you want a mini version of Oreos? Like, like look at these little pieces of shit. Pretty much the same, but they're just smaller, but I want more cream, baby. Give me all that cream in my mouth. And then they have golden Oreo minis, which, just a golden Oreo, but smaller. I'm already starting to feel a little gross, stomach-wise, um, and I haven't even eaten that many, so. I can start to feel the the inching of a of a stomach ache. Um, here's a golden Oreo. I think I actually prefer these as a mini experience over the regular Oreos. Like these just taste like nice cream cookies. The other ones are like, or they make me feel like I'm eating Oreos, but not as good. Okay, let's uh, oof. all right. Now let's dive into chocolate Oreos. These are Oreos with chocolate cream. I've t I told you I prefer vanilla usually over chocolate, so I don't know if I've had these actually. The chocolate cream is actually pretty tasty, but these have the same problem with golden Oreos for me. It's like I like the contrast of cream and chocolate cookie, and this is just like the chocolate. It's too much fucking dry Oreo shit in my throat right now. The chocolate cream is actually pretty good. It's just kind of like nice, inoffensive chocolate and sweet, but with the cookie, it's a little it's a little much. I kind of prefer the vanilla cream, but I wouldn't say no to these. On that note, let's go into dark chocolate, which I've never, I don't think I've, I've ever seen these before. Oh, they're new, that's why. This is like midnight black Oreos. Like they look the same color. It's actually kind of scary looking. It looks like tar or something. Um, all right. I like these more than the chocolate ones. I like bit dark chocolate in general. And because this is slightly more bitter, it's more interesting. It gives a more interesting, bitter chocolate flavor than just the regular chocolate, which just kind of blends in with the Oreo. This, I can taste the dark chocolate with the Oreo, and they, they go well together. This actually stands out more. With that said, a little overwhelming. I don't know if I could eat a lot of these in a sitting, just because of how strongly bitter and dark chocolatey they are. But I could eat like one or two of these at a time. Ma'am. This is a lot of Oreos. Mint Oreos. I believe I've had these. They taste like Thin Mints from what I remember. I should do that, a Girl Scout cookies video? Maybe I'll do that. These are a nice toothpaste green. Smell very minty. I love Thin Mints. These taste just like Thin Mints, um, but with more toothpaste quality because it does kind of, with this mint cream, it does kind of have a toothpaste-esque quality, but the flavor is still great. Chocolate and like mint together. And the cookie is delicious. These are quite good. Eating this much Oreo cream is... It's a little distressing. Now we're gonna do birthday cake Oreos. These have sprinkles in them or something? That's stupid. You can see they have like little dots of color in there. These smell different actually. This I think this cream is like birthday cake or frosting? I don't know. Oh yeah. This cream is different. It's almost like a buttercream frosting flavor. And it's like, it's like not as thick. Sprinkles add nothing because sprinkles are a fucking waste of time. Very sweet. I do like them actually quite a bit because I'm a sucker for birthday cake flavor, but they are very sweet. So again, another overwhelming flavor that I enjoy, but I don't think I could eat, could eat a ton of these. 
Um, I'm also probably a little bit biased because I've just eaten so much Oreo at this point that it's just getting a little overwhelming in general. When I was a kid, I used to eat like, you know, like a whole roll of Oreos, but now as, an, a, as a man, it's just not nearly as fun as you'd think it would be. We still got a ways to go. Let's try peanut butter. Peanut butter Oreos, that sounds good. I'm like not really excited to eat these anymore, but here we go. They smell very much like peanut butter. Um, it's got a nice peanut butter light brown color. This is good, but it doesn't go as well together as I would like it to go together. Like I think, I'm usually thinking like Reese's Puffs. Reese's like, you know, love that combination. This has peanut butter cream, which is pretty good. It's, it's good. It doesn't really go as well with the Oreo as I would like. Because the Oreo is just kind of like a chalky chocolate crunch compared to the peanut butter cream, it doesn't mesh as well as say like a Reese's, but it's all right, it's okay. There are better chocolate peanut butter combinations you can do. So we'll see if this can fix the problem. This is chocolate peanut butter pie with graham flavored cookies. This might be what I was looking for. These have a nice kind of toasty brown color. Uh, and then if you lift this up, you can see it's like a fun half and half. Um, okay, let's make sure we get a bite of both. The graham cooker cracker cookie flavor is too sweet. It actually overwhelms the chocolate and peanut butter cream. It tastes way too strong um, compared to the filling. If I like scrape off the filling, I'm not like huge on this. This it, The cream does not actually taste that strong and the graham crackers are like too sweet. Get out of the way of the fucking chocolate and peanut butter. We're not eating you for the cookie. We're eating you for the cream. Dip shit. Okay. Okay. Um, let's go with carrot cake. Carrot cake Oreos. These are carrot cake flavored cookies with cream cheese frosting. Oh, it smells very, very strong. Very cinnamony. All right. It actually does taste exactly like carrot cake. Let's try the frosting on its own. That tastes exactly like carrot cake with cream cheese frosting. It's kind of terrifying how much it tastes like carrot cake with cream cheese frosting. I, it really depends on how much you like carrot cake with cream cheese frosting. I like carrot cake with cream cheese frosting. So these are good. They are a lot though. I find with a lot of these special flavored ones, they are very sweet. So it's like, you can't replace like a double stuffed Oreo because it's just, it's just too much sweetness. But I will say, holy shit, it does taste exactly like a carrot cake with cheese. Cheese? Ew. Cream cheese frosting. Red velvet Oreos with cream cheese cream. They are a nice red. I kind of think red velvet's a little overrated in general, but the cream cheese frosting definitely overwhelms here. Kind of just tastes like a lightly sweet cookie. These are okay. Um, the cookies are not particularly strong and the cream is overwhelming. So you're really, you're just eating a big cream cheese frosting cookie, which if you like that, that's fine. Boy. Do I not feel great? Okay, lemon golden Oreos. I don't even know how these are gonna taste. It's got a yellow pea colored cream. It's got a very sweet citrusy lemon flavor, almost to the point where it almost tastes like dishwashing fluid or whatever, or dish soap. It's very le artificial lemon in your face. Uh, and there's a lot of this too. Um, yeah. Uh, it's all right, it's kind of too much lemon. I'm not really a dessert person, so I feel like I've eaten about 10 cakes. Um, like this is a lot. Uh, anyway, let's move on. Here's fudge covered Oreos, just fuck it. Just cover it in fudge, you, you dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cover that shit in fudge. It's good, but of course it's gonna be good. It's an Oreo covered in fudge. Oh, this is not the thing I need to eat right now. But I do like that it's like a it's like a nice chocolate and the inside has a nice crunch. I love chocolate with a good like a cookie crunch or like a nut crunch or something like that. So it, it's like tasting like a really good chocolate with a nice crunchy interior. You don't taste the cream at all because the fudge is so sweet. But it's like a crunchy chocolate fudge. If I'm being totally honest, these are pretty delicious just because the fudge is so good. But wow. That's a lot. Oh, I move on to a different category. Oreo Thins. It's just thin Oreos, so hopefully, how many serving size? The serving size is like four cookies? <laughs> Jesus, okay. Well, I was gonna say this would be not as bad, but apparently they're still almost just as bad for you. They are very thin though. 
They're pretty good. They're thin and wafer-like, just very crisp. You don't get the same cream filling experience, but it's not why you're eating these. You're eating these for a different kind of cookie. So they're just like thin, chocolatey, sweet, crispy cookies. They're, they're pretty good, pretty good. Let's see how I feel about them after I eat uh, five more varieties. Here we have the mint ones, Oreo Thins Mint. Okay. They're very good, and I like these almost a little bit more than their regular size counterpart. Because with the regular size counterpart, the cream is so thick, it gives that kind of toothpaste edge to it, which you might like if you like the cream. But this just gives you chocolate and mint in a really crispy package. I think if I just wanted the mint experience, I'd grab these. But if I wanted the Oreo experience, I'd grab the other ones and get that toothpaste in my mouth. Okay. Here's Oreo Thin's Pistachio. These ones are also like a light green filling. I'm not a fan of these. It tastes like artificial pistachio flavor, like art pistachio ice cream, which I don't actually like that much. I love pistachios, but anytime it's like pistachio flavored stuff, I'm just not really a fan. Not that all the other shit was not artificial, but this tastes especially artificial, like really bad frosting, kind of weirdly artificial sweet. I don't like these at all. <sighs> okay, Oreo Thins Coconut. I think my taste buds have just morphed into children's taste buds. They're not that sweet, but there's a light coconut flavor. They're pleasant. They're not great, but they do have a nice light coconut flavor. I think my tongue just is dead now. I never want to eat an Oreo again. Let's just go with some classic golden Oreo thins. The more I eat golden Oreos, the more I realize how inferior they are to regular Oreos. Like they taste good. They're just sweet and vanilla. But boy, are they one note. Like, the more of these stupid things I have to eat, the more I realize I, how much I like regular Oreos more. I used to think I liked these more. No, you goddamn fool. Chocolate Oreos are the way to go. Good thing I gotta try another one. This one the lemon flavor, which I loved so much. Okay. Still got that artificial lemon flavor, but at least there's not as much filling. So these are actually better than the other ones just by a margin. My teeth feel like they are just covered in Oreo dust. And I'm drinking milk and it's just, it's just, uh, it's just a lot. Oh, okay, three more. Oh, Oreo Thins Bites. How are these different from mini Oreos? These are like the same thing. They're just flatter. Like, they're, they're just Oreos minis, but flatter. These are just the exact same thing. Oreo Thins Bites Mint Cream. Oh, and they're fudge dipped. Okay. They're pretty tasty. These have, the fudge dip doesn't actually contribute more. It's a little bit too much chocolate. Uh, I think that they don't need fudge dip. Just let the mint shine. That's why I'm trying to eat a mint Oreo, not to cover it in chocolate shit. Finally, Oreo Thins Bites, white fudge dip. I do like white fudge. To me at this point, that just tastes like pure sugar. They're very sweet. I think white fudge is best around like a pretzel because a pretzel is not sweet. A pretzel is just crunch and a little bit of salt. So when you put white fudge on a pretzel, it's got a nice contrast. This is just like covering sugar in sugar. It doesn't taste bad, but it tastes just like I, I might as well have just scooped a pile of sugar into my mouth. Then I think my tongue, taste buds are just irreversibly damaged but these are just way too sweet. I'm eating nothing and all I taste is sweet. The air tastes sweet. My teeth are caked in Oreo. I'm gonna have to probably schedule another dentist appointment tomorrow. This is just... Okay. All right, let's categorize these. I think the king of the crop is still double stuff Oreos. That is the top. That is pure Oreos for me. Uh, however, I do love Mega Stuff because I'm a, just a disgusting bastard. You know, I did say I like the Thin Mint ones better, but thinking about it, this is just, I want an Oreo experience, so... I think I'm gonna go with Mint Oreos in, like, the S-Class tier. If you want something that tastes really good, but is very overwhelming, uh, fudge-covered Oreos are quite good. And the Birthday Cake Oreos, I actually do like these. They're just... Very sweet. They just make my stomach hurt just thinking about them. The most accurate flavor goes to carrot cake. This still kind of fucking scares me a little bit. I don't know why that tastes so much like carrot cake. And then bottom tier is reduced fat, but I would still rather eat these over pistachio thins 
and lemon thins. And any lemon Oreo, they're, no, thank you. Just, it's gross. Okay, that was a lot of Oreos. There's a lot of Oreos. I guess that was my lunch. I don't even want to think about how much that was, calorie-wise. Um, I don't feel like I need to eat for the rest of the day. And I feel like my insides are just made of Oreo now. Alright. Bye.